Shetty Kundra. seconds with the bar. I think we'll have enough uh, opportunities for the photographs. Shuru kar lete hain. Wonderful having you on stage. Thank you so much for being here. Should I call the housekeeping staff? <laughs> no, we're, we're, we're fine. We're used to we're used to having this around, and that's what we're going to change today. Yeah, we're okay with holding the baskets, separating whites and colors. We can ah. do that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> but Shilpa, what's the laundry basket about? What is I mean? What 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 does this represent? I mean. Well, for me, it represents um, a basket of woes. Cleaning basket of woes? <laughs> cleaning, wo cleaning woes. But well, woes, why woes? I mean, isn't fresh smelling laundry, uh, I mean, it's such a re refresher, really. <laughs> you know, I, I, uh, I take the carte blanche of, of saying that uh, Neha, Mandira and me actually represent uh, the millions of working women who are actually doing two jobs, one in the office and one at home. This is like a full-time job, cleaning, because, you know, uh, there's so much that goes with it. But now life has obviously become so much simpler with washing machines and aerial that uh, it's, it's actually a walk in the park. But um, considering, we, you know, we belong to an egalitarian world, it's really shocking to see that even in this time and age, um, it's just taken for granted that cleaning is meant to be done by the woman you know, amongst all the rest of the things that she's doing. So um, we've just come to change that notion. And um, it's a very happy moment for us. We're starting the new year with a new thought. And yeah. I mean, there are, I mean it, is, it is a typical mindset. I mean, 85%, according to the Nielsen survey, 85% of working uh, uh, Indian men think that laundry is not their job. Uh, it, it is the woman's job. And that is a mindset that's still continuing. And, and they'd, they'd rather watch an inane football game than doing the laundry. And there the woman's also looking after the child. Hey, and hey, the, hey, they can watch that in inane yeah. football game while doing the laundry. Yeah, you can <laughs> do both, really. Because um, I, I also think it's attributed a lot to conditioning, really. Um, I think as girls, we are brought up to believe and think that we are homemakers and cooking, cleaning, 
and everything that's done within a home has to be looked after us. I mean, looked after by us. So correct me if I'm wrong, Mandira. Neha, I just think that has to change. Because tradition, times have changed. Yeah. Yeah. Tradition has always dictated that the man is the provider and the woman looks after the home. But as we have moved towards a progressive society, how much ever, you know, this is, this is so true, more than two-thirds of Indian women feel there exists inequality at home, even though there might be much more, equal, much more equality outside, outside the home. So tradition is dictated. The man is the, is the provider. The woman is the homemaker. But now... Uh, there are there are double incomes. There are there are women who are um, uh, who are contributing to that EMI uh, to buy the flat, but yet the mindset of the man hasn't changed. Uh, I'm allowing you to work. You are working. You're equal in that sense, but you can't be neglecting the chores at home. And unfortunately, the chore that sort of men want to most avoid uh, is is cleaning, is laundry, because. Uh, Nowadays, men are very modern. You know, we are very good hands-on dads. We like to, we like to, you know, take our sons on, uh, our kids on play dates, and do whatever it takes. As, as uh, you know, as a, as a modern father, uh, you see men entering the kitchen a lot more, cooking. They want to be. They're all master chefs somewhere, but laundry is something that they'd rather not sort of touch upon. Yeah, it's, it's. I mean, it's. It doesn't even feature in the radar really. Men just assume uh, that that when they wake up in the morning, the clothes have to be uh, ready by somebody or the or the clothes fairy for that. I think matter. that teaser <laughs> was just amazing. She's earning more money than him, and at the end of it, the, the in in the morning, the husband, oh, my shirt ni yeah. I mean, why can't you? At the, oh, I love the <laughs> the women's reaction. Yeah, <laughs> <be> like really, kis <laughs> age <laughs> But, but you know, memories of, of, of you growing up and household chores at home, were they distributed or was it again the, the, the compartmentalization that, you know? You know, that's a very, very interesting question because I, uh, I came from an, you know, a, a fairly middle class family. Both my parents worked and very hard. So I came from a time where washing machines just got introduced. So... Uh, First, we used to have a Kamwali bai who used to come and do the, uh, the clothes. But when the washing machine came home, I remember my dad very sweetly doing all the laundry on weekends. Oh, my, we mom, did. my mom never, ever did the laundry. Never. Oh. So it just goes to say a lot about my dad. And I just think we've just grown up the way we have become is because of my, my dad and the way he, you know, kind of inculcated those values. And I think I expect that from, from my man also, you know. If we couldn't have afforded all that we can today with God's grace, I'm sure Raj is the sort of man who would do his laundry and he wouldn't really care about it. I was going to ask you, Shilpa, yeah. does your Raj do the laundry because my Raj Because I don't know doesn't. how to do laundry, really. I remember we were in our Dubai home once and I didn't, and we, we obviously didn't have house, house help because we like to just you know, live like we live in that two-bedroom apartment. Um, so it's not like Mumbai. I remember <laughs> I saw the washing machine. I was like, oh my God, this is really complicated. How the hell do you do it? And he said, okay, give it to me. And then he put in the towels and, he, you know, there's a way to function it. I right. had no idea. So that's how he is. Wow. I mean, so, you've, yeah. you've, you've been fortunate to have two of, the, of really the minority percentage of men who actually look at laundry and, and, and do it. But, but Neha, tell me, from your perspective as a single woman, uh, what does a laundry basket represent um, to you? You know, I've, um, I'm, I'm definitely not married, as you all know. So my experiences that I'd like to share would definitely be one of growing up, would be around my mom and dad. Now, my dad was definitely, you know, he's an ex-serviceman, uh, and he's not somebody who's really done laundry. The only time he would go close to a washing machine, my mom would operate it every time. The only time he would go close to it is when my mom would scream and say, Oh, your machine kuch ho gaya, aake dekh lo. You know, so he would like, like press some buttons and make it work. So somewhere down the line, I know that if it push comes to shove, my father will be able to do laundry. <laughs> and it's also, it was very important in our house because he was a naval officer and making sure whites always look like the perfect white was an essential. 
Right. I do not know how my mom would do it, but every morning he would have a crisp white uniform shining out there with a the light passing through by the window, and I'd be like, oh, dad's ready to go to work, but wait a minute, mom's been working three hours before dad is going to work. So, you know, it's just what it is. It's a little in inequality, hmm. and I, I've, I mean, I've seen a little bit of it even while growing up, but now because I'm, you know, single, I live all by myself, Shh, don't tell too many people out there, but I do. <laughs> but, you know, I've, I've, I've been, I've got enough and more male friends, and I've seen guys and, you know, dated a few, and I've seen a laundry basket lying out there in a guy's house, and he wouldn't even, like, look at it. Like, it does not bother him. I don't understand how that happens. And then you're a single girl living all by yourself, and even before going to work, you're like sorting out your whites and your colors and you're doing laundry every morning. Even if it means, like Mandira said, pressing that button and then getting back to your everyday life or your routine at home. It just means, laundry basket just means work, get it done and over with, and making sure that it's my responsibility. But yeah, I would love to have someone else do my laundry for me, only to make sure that I could make that time to do something else for myself or the person who's doing laundry for me. So let's have a fair and equal relationship. So, so, so when you get married, is it a very, very important factor that your husband share the household chores, starting from the laundry, of course, oh, uh, yeah, I mean, equally with you? I come from a Punjabi house where they think that cooking and cleaning and doing laundry are essentials before you get married. So I've not done that for a really long time in my life, and I'm hoping I don't have to fit into that. But yes, it is something that is expected out of me, but, you know, Finding a man who knows how to do the laundry would be a better place to be in. And uh, be even if he doesn't, <laughs> yeah, even if he doesn't, there's no harm teaching him. But uh, just a little thing, I think I've learned how to do laundry the right way by a guy out there who mm. I know. And then he was the one who taught me, okay, this is how you need to do it. This is warm colors. So it's not something that just a woman needs to do. You think a guy taught you how yes, to do Yes, absolutely. And it's like, maybe it's the 76%, but we're focusing on the 24 that need to actually teach the other 76 who think that laundry is a woman's job. You sure it was not a sly way of just teaching you and passing on the responsibility <laughs> to you? you know, now you've learned no, to do no, it. No, <laughs> no, just, just making sure my, my, my whites are whites and my colors are colors. And of course, the most important thing he said was, Remember to use Arial. <laughs> so, Mandira, tell me, you, you just mentioned that uh, typically over generations, men have been the providers, women have been the homemakers. Uh, and do you think men get lazy when they, when they come home uh, from work, saying, I've done whatever work I had to do outside, and when I come home... The rest home, of it is your responsibility. I'm going to be a couch potato. Yes, they get lazy, but like Neha said, um, you know, her dad came along and pressed some buttons, at the end of the day, men love gadgets. So this should be something that's totally up their street, right? You go, there's a big machine, you can press some buttons, it yeah. produces great results. This is something that, that, I mean, this is the age of the, of the washing machine. This is not like, we're not expecting men to go into the bathroom and start scrubbing yeah. clothes. I mean, life couldn't be easier. And with, mm. and you know, a basket of laundry for me, it means great, great smelling clothes. For me, yeah. I, I, yeah. I love the smell of freshly washed laundry. So uh, I'm saying, as men, uh, they should really enjoy the process because it's a big gadget that they get to play with and uh, that gives great results. And uh, they get to get, you know, brownie points as well. So should they put that laziness out of the window and, you know, get to the kitchen or the pantry or the bathroom, wherever the, the washing machine is. So, so tell me, this, this entire concept of equality and household chores, uh, does it need to now be conditioned with, uh, at an early age, with the children at home? Um, do they need to, again, Absolutely. share responsibility Absolutely. together? Absolutely. I want my siblings. son to see my, f my husband do the laundry, so when he grows up and he has a girlfriend or a wife or whatever, he should mm. say, can I do the laundry today or can we alternate? Right. That's how it should be. And of course it is conditioning. I mean, everything is conditioning. You look at, uh, you look at how uh, a, man treats, uh, a man treats his wife, that's how the son will treat um, his girlfriend or wife when he grows up. So it's not, it's not just about the laundry, it's about gener generally in life. Mm. It's, it's all about conditioning. How you see your parents treat each other is the, way, is the kind right. of ch uh, human being or grown up or adult That's you right. become. Like, like you said, Shilpa, I mean, you, you, you saw your father um, um, share the chores and then do the laundry. So obviously that is a learning that you would like to pass on to uh, uh, the kids at home. See, you know, I just think that uh, I was really lucky and so was my mom. <laughs> uh, but I don't think that really brings down anyone's uh, position. You right. know, I just think it, uh, it just shows the amount of love and respect a couple have uh, for each other. 
when they're actually doing a balancing act outside the house and within the home. And uh, it just goes to say a lot for the man as well. Mm. If he you know, actually is going out there and wants to help the woman uh, you know, with the household work. So um, yeah, I, I, for me, my father, there are lots of things that he's, he's done that, um, you know, that really makes me respect him more as a woman. And um, yeah, I've totally digressed from the question, but <laughs> <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> I said, would you like to pass on those learnings that you exactly. had? Exactly. So coming the back example to that. Of your yeah, father. totally. So um, I've, I've grown up seeing that. So if I was a boy, I'm sure that wouldn't have changed, mm. you know. And I would have obviously grown up to, you know, learning to do the household chores. And you know, something I'd like to add over here is just we keep talking about household chores and how men should do it. And I've, I've seen a lot of my friends who are married and who are couples and even, you know, with Shilpa and Mandira, the, the point that we're actually try, try, you know, trying to drive home is the fact that men just have shorter working days. Because as far as You're women right. are concerned, their days start much earlier. Their job does their not jobs end, never end at the yeah. office. They bring it back home. They have an entire office to run at home. We, it's a full-time job running a home, and that's the responsibility a man can share. And one of the most important things you need to do is help her do laundry. In fact, get down to doing it. It's as simple as that. Yeah. And you know, the face of inequality at home is, is actually laundry, because that's exactly. a chore that, that men just don't get down to doing. Yeah. You do see men now Cooking. getting into the kitchen, yeah. you know, um, contributing um, over there. Stir yeah. Stirring. And, uh, stirring. 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 Sometimes, sometimes, stirring. Cooking. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> cooking up something or the other. Yeah. But I'm saying right. even, they even help with, with kids a lot more than they used to. Right. But, but laundry is that one sort of one chore that they want to stay away from. Through. And that's why it's, the, it's become the face of inequality at home. And it's, it's, it's fantastic that Ariel has come yeah. up with a platform like this to spark a debate like this. And Open the eyes of all the men who don't do laundry at home. And you know, it's that just, <laughs> and actually yeah. getting down to brass tacks, if you actually look at how much time laundry really takes in today's time and age with a washing machine and, uh, you know, a product like Ariel, barely 20 minutes. Barely, you know? right, yeah, that's right. Barely and 20 minutes. I'm talking I'm, about I, just doing the beginning and... I think just segregating the clothes is the difficult part right. for a man. But it's just colors. It's just 20 I mean, minutes, really. yeah. <laughs> Opening it, putting the stuff, do it, you know, putting the detergent, and that's it. Shut it and then wait. There and then you go. you go and watch your favorite football game. <laughs> Absolutely yeah. right. No, and like no you said, Indian. it's a gadget no at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. So. I'm, I'm, surprised. I'm surprised they stay away from it. Because <laughs> they love gadgets. Have, have you know what? I've got a great idea. Go put on. a TV in the laundry room. Oh, oh, we absolutely. <laughs> or, put, or put the washing machine in the TV yeah. room. Oh, we're Ariel, talking about flats Ariel, in Bombay, Ariel should actually, Everybody doesn't have a flat no, like no, yours. Listen, let's, no, let's the Ariel guys, the Ariel guys are going to kill me. Maybe, maybe you find a coupon to get a free TV in an Ariel Dabba. Why? <laughs> but listen, Why? listen, listen. You can just go and do it in a commercial break. <laughs> the That's Ariel how easy it is, right? <laughs> yeah, just pre-program the TV with that commercial. <laughs> So no, every time you switch it on, the commercial begins. You know, I, I have to make this confession hmm. over here, you know, on the stage with all the humor and everything set aside. Till I came on this stage, literally, till like uh, about half an hour ago, I had taken laundry as my whole sole responsibility, even back home. Like, you know, even when I've had boyfriends or if I see my mom and dad, I've never, I've been the regular Indian woman. I've never argued the fact the laundry is not my job. But today onwards, I'm going to do that. And I'm hoping that lots of other women do that too. And that's exactly the question that we're, 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 we're uh, bringing out to the men of Mumbai, to the men of India. And that's the one message that, that we'd like you to now really throw it out yes. there in their faces. And, and really, even as you say that, uh, I'm sorry to be uh, cutting you in, it's not, it's not said in a feminist sort of way. It actually is in a more human sort of way that, you know, we are also human and we also would like a break. That's right. You know? Because with double so, incomes yeah. right now, it's really triple careers. Yeah, exactly. With a woman handling two, they're, one outside, one at home. The yes. They're all I good agree. with the income out, uh, coming in, but they're not, they're not okay to share the responsibility. How about that? So let's, so let's, let's ask on that, that on question that note, really out men there. Men are lovely. We, we wouldn't know what to yeah, do yeah. without you guys. So. <laughs> men are lovely. <laughs> so can we, can we have that message? Here, sure. though, how many... Out of all the women sit in, uh, sitting in this room, how many of you do the laundry? Hands up. 
Uh, women only, please, sir. You can put your hand down for this question. It took you, it took you 20 <laughs> seconds to put your hand. Really? The only time I go into the laundry room is when there's dhabbe on my clothes and ye white ko kyun nahi segregate kiya aapne yeah but ha so aap sab karti hain to aap kyun karti hain ye kya soch ke karti jaise neha ne bola ki ye ek responsibility aapne khud ba khud le liya hai husband bhi karte hain to achhi baat hai see india taaliya ho jaye aapke husband ke liye taaliya he represent ye boliye aur laundry karenge fir that's one third all right, so let's let's have that message out. Let's have the question out to all the men out there. Laundry is a woman's job, they say. Ladies, do you agree with that? I'm sure they don't. We've had so much discussion right now. We're going to change that sentence. question we'd like to ask you now what's also very very unique and very interesting is that this message this question is going to reach the men of Mumbai tomorrow morning in a very very special way we have the messengers of Mumbai are very iconic
Who's going to take that? Anybody, किस, whoever you like. किससे पूछ रहे हैं आप? I don't think the platform over here is Bollywood. Bollywood the platform yeah. over here is Ariel. Ariel yeah. is. Uh, sparking a debate, it's um, it's starting a conversation. Uh, there are there are uh, what we're here to talk about is the fact that there is in, even though we're moving towards a more progressive progressive society, there is very much um, you know a, a state of inequality at home. You see um, men and women both providing, both bringing in an income, but uh, as far as the household chores are concerned, um, uh, there's not an equal share of responsibility. That's the debate we're bringing up, and the platform is not Bollywood. Um, the platform is is Ariel. I know. Has, has brought to, today we're not representing, uh, you know, Indian cinema or Bollywood or movies. We're here representing women. We're here as a voice, uh, which is which has been, you know, not uh, which has been very subdued for many years, and we should have done this earlier. But Ariel has given us that platform, so I'd like to second everything that Mandira says about it. Yeah, and me too. ये एक बहुत ही सॉरी डिड यू वांट टू टेक इस बहुत ही बेहतरीन और बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग तरीके से मैसेज बताया गया है दे अबाउट थ्री थाउजेंड डब्बा वाला जो बिन अप्रोच विच मींस इट्स ऑलमोस्ट टू थर्ड ऑफ द नंबर ऑफ डब्बा वाला सेट वी हैव इन द सिटी एंड डब्बे वाले जो होते हैं इट्स द फर्स्ट बॉन्ड ऑफ लव वेन अ वुमन एक्चुअली मेक्स फूड एंड सेंड इट टू अर हजबेंड एवरी आफ्टरनून वेन हीज एट वर्क दैट्स द फर्स्ट साइन यू नो ऑफ हाउ मच लव शी सेज इन बिकॉज द ओनली Way to get into a man's uh, heart is through his stomach. So it happens and in return, every day. Basically, in return, he, she's saying, "Come home and do the laundry." No, and in return, <laughs> what is yeah. going to happen is there's going to be a tag that's going to be put by Ariel on these. Many dabbas, three thousand dabba walas are going to be given these uh, dabbas. So almost sixty thousand men tomorrow will be getting asked this question: Is laundry only a woman's job? So they are going to get this tag on their dabbas, and by the end of the day, the answer will be there with all the women. And hopefully, they'll come back and realize that listen, our women have been doing this for so many years. It's now our time and our responsibility to take over and share the load. And basically, and basically, just elucidating on that. <laughs> The dabba wala just gets the food there, and through the stomach they work on uh, work on the man's heart, and now through this message we'll be working on the man's mind as well. ये क्या ये मतलब इसका क्या क्या connection क्या है? बताइए मुझे connection क्या था? वो सवाल आप बाद में पूछें। हाँ मैं उनको नहीं धो दूँ <laughs> नहीं नहीं ऐसा नहीं है आ, जैसे मैंने जैसे मैंने पहले भी कहा आ, जब हम लोग दुबई जाते हैं तो हम स्टाफ हमारे यहाँ स्टाफ नहीं है छोटा सा घर है तो हम अकेले रह, रहना पसंद करते हैं तो लॉन्ड्री वहाँ पे राज ही करते हैं मेरी मदद करते हैं वो तो ऐसा नहीं है कि नहीं करते और आ, आ, अगर हमारे घर में हेल्प नहीं होता अगर हम ऐसे स्थिति में नहीं होते जहाँ पर हम है, हाँ हैं आज तो आई एम श्योर राज मेरी हेल्प करते तो मैं यही कह रही हूँ कि ऐसे काफ़ी मर्द हैं इंडिया में जो बहुत हेल्प आउट करते हैं अपनी बीवियों को तो मैं उसी मैसेज को और स्प्रेड करना चाहती हूँ और मेरे जो दोस्त बैठे हैं यहाँ पे वो भी यही कह रहे हैं मैं मैं अपने हस्बैंड के बारे में कुछ कहना चाहती हूँ बहुत कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट करते हैं बहुत रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी शेयर करते हैं पर अब तक उन्होंने लॉन्ड्री नहीं की और आज के बाद बस उनको देखना पड़ेगा करना पड़ेगा इसकी धुलाई करो एरल के साथ दिस इज नॉट दिस इज नॉट टाइम और प्लेस फॉर दैट कैन या रेली नो कॉमेंट सर जी वी कैन टेक दिस क्वेश्चन आप अलग से आप ले लीजिए ना क्वेश्चन जी जी सप्लाई चेन मैनेजमेंट आई थिंक दिस इज नॉट अ क्वेश्चन दैट्स फॉर अस 
supply chain management of the dabba wala oh it's so, very interesting yeah, by, even yeah, yeah, charles it. came Both down ha. and he went and studied that it's pro- probably one of the most fool proof yeah. um, ways of delivering anything they always on time unke alag alag jo um, uh, you know colors hote then they didn't divide it and all if you want i can tell you everything i've read the book the same one that you yeah. really and we talk about it in a, on the side yeah <laughs> good okay. one thank you Great. educate me huh? <laughs> it's a very interesting book really <laughs> जी जी सॉरी मैंने मुझे सुनाई नहीं दिया आपने की बस यही इसी बात पे हम गौर देना चाहते हैं कि जैसे मैंने पहले भी कहा काफ़ी सारे मर्द हैं जो हेल्प करते हैं घर के अंदर लेकिन लॉन्ड्री को लेकर लेके एक पता नहीं एक एपति है या पता नहीं एक टेक इन फॉर ग्रांटेड लिया जाता है कि ये औरत औरत ही करेगी और और आई थिंक मजॉरिटी जो परसेंटेज है आदमी यही सोचते हैं कि ये औरत ही करेगी तो हम बस उस नज़रिए को बदलना चाहते हैं आज जो डिबेट हम लोगों ने चालू किया है यहाँ पर स्टेज पर इसी को आगे बढ़ाते हुए आप भी अपने घर जाए और आप भी इस बात को मतलब ब्रोच करें अगर आप नहीं करती आ, आपके पति नहीं करते हैं लॉन्ड्री पता नहीं आपकी शादी हुई है कि नहीं लेकिन आ, जब होगी तो आपको ब्रोच करना चाहिए बहुत सारे आ, जो लेडीज़ हैं चुप बैठती हैं ये सोच के कि आदमी करेगा नहीं क्यों नहीं अगर आप काम कर रही हैं वो दौर बहुत अलग था जहाँ पे लेडीज़ पहले घर पे ही होती थी और घर को संभालती थी अब तो बाहर की भी दुनिया संभालने लगी है आ, अगर आदमी ब्रेड एंड बटर कमाता है तो वो भी जैम कमा के लेकर आती है घर पे तो दौर बदल गया है और आ, मुझे लगता है परिवर्तन ही ज़िंदगी का नियम है, है कुछ कुछ अनफॉर्चुनेटली अब भी कुछ काम ऐसे हैं जो जो औरत के माने जाते हैं जो घर के काम हैं जो औरत के माने जाते हैं और उनमें जो टॉप ऑफ द लिस्ट है वो है लॉन्ड्री तो हमने लॉन्ड्री को एक मतलब जैसे एक फेस बनाया है ऑफ द इनक्वालिटी जो घर पे होता है देखिए जो भी पेचेक मिलता है मिलता है जो भी एक्टर को मिलता है वो डिजर्व करते हैं हाँ एक वो डिस्पैरिटी है इन इक्वालिटी है बट आई थिंक वॉट कॉन्ट बी क्योर हैज बी इंडियोर्ड दैट्स माई मंत्रा इन लाइफ इट्स ऑल्सो अबाउट वॉट 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 द वॉट इट्स वॉट अ वुमन गेट्स पेड और अ मैन गेट्स पेड इज वॉट ही ब्रिंग्स टू द टेबल वॉट ही ब्रिंग्स टू द बॉक्स ऑफिस इट्स अ सिंपल इज दैट इट्स लाइक डिमांड एंड सप्लाई आई आई डोंट थिंक इट्स ऑल्सो एनी बेटर दैन दैट इट्स जस्ट what the man brings to the table is he is what he's worth and is i what he also gets. feel yes. agar aap film industry ki baat kare uh, ab kisi bhi actor ko le le whether it's an actor whether it's an actress i'd like to call both actors the main thing is unfortunately this industry does not measure you on how much talent you have uh, how much skill you have what you do in front of the camera what the audience is want out of you it's by like mandira said it's very important and it's it's definitely measured by the numbers you bring to the box office yeah. it is not content it is not anything ab kisi bhi cheez ko measure kare it's not talent it's not skill and therefore we continue to work and worship the same people who bring back the numbers which is great it's very good for the film industry we continue to work with the same kind of stories that bring back the numbers and the audience has been watching the same thing for over 50 to 60 years because it's that one formula the one set of people one kind of people and at this point if the men are the ones bringing the numbers so be it there is inequality but uh, it has changed and it will continue to change but it'll just take some time but i suppose that's also with hollywood it's not like it's bollywood centric it's what it's what you bring to the table is uh, what you get paid i there's a difference yeah, there, there is, yeah a slight difference any more questions thank you no 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 thank you i'm sorry no no thank you there will be another kind of लास्ट मैं उतावली हूँ उतावली हूँ इस लास्ट क्वेश्चन के लिए हाँ 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 आपने आपने नहीं मैं उतावली नहीं हूँ क्या क्या फोटो मैंने ऑनेस्टली देखा नहीं है फोटो नहीं मैंने अगर फोटो देखा नहीं है भाई साहब तो मैं व्यू थैंक यू वेरी मच
सेलिब्रिटीज आर ऑलवेज सॉफ्ट सॉफ्ट टारगेट्स पीरियड ये आप लोगों ने भी देखा हुआ है मैं सह चुकी हूँ <laughs> पूरी जिंदगी लेकिन दैट्स जस्ट पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ यू नो फेम थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच यार भी बहुत मिलता है For more Bollywood updates subscribe now to youtube.com/biscuittv